Hey guys, welcome back to my plan as I go. I was just showing you how last week looked like in my plum paper, and now this is uh, as it is plan as I go. So I was just showing you the previous week, and this is the plan as I go for June the 12th through June the 18th. And I'm using this kit from Scribble Prince Co. and it's called All the Stars. I got her mini kit. It came with that sampler and the washi seat. Those full boxes are amazing, are they not? I love them. And then the sidebar and the full checklist and littles. And I got that additional glitter sheet. So that is what we're going to be using this week for this plan as I go. And that was my page that I keep everything written on throughout the week that I want to put in this memory planner and plan as I go. And I own these just senior printables. The bottom, uh, the bottom space is not as wide as these washi are washi is so i am going to use my exacto knife and i am going to cut cut it down and which it ends up working out for the best anyway so i'm really i am really liking scribble prints co stickers i can see why they're they are so popular because they are they're glossy but they're not the glossy kind where your where my uh, tool pen will not work on it so they're in the the ink doesn't smudge so I'm really loving them. So now I'm just, like I said, trying to make sure that I cut, cut them straight. And then I'm going to lay the bottom washi. I hope y'all had a wonderful week and a wonderful, wonderful Father's Day. We had a wonderful weekend. And as you see, the, that one's a little bit short. So what I do is I just get the top part that I didn't. And I was going, then I figured up I can just turn it up on the side like that. And you really can't tell that it's, it wasn't a continuous piece. So that's what I did there. And I really like, I love this bottom wash. I love this kit. And so now I'm gonna go across the bottom on the other side. And I decided I wanted, if anything was gonna be pieced, I wanted it to be pieced on the part that's folded. So I did the same thing there. I just used that same little strip, came down with it and made it fit. And, uh, and, of course, I mess up my paper a little bit, you know me, with my perfectionism. But I get over it. I get over it this time. I'm going to use this Fox and Peel, uh, uh, put a bow on it sheet throughout this kit, uh, throughout this layout. Because uh, I'll be using Fox and Peel. And there's, I think there may be another one I bring in. But, first of all, I'm going to place these headers down across, these gold glitter headers across the top all the way all the way across and I will find that actually but since I'm trying to do these plans I go more or less chronologically chronologically day by day uh, putting the headers on to me is the easiest way to do it now I may change it next week because it is kind of if you do not get the header straight it's harder to get your full boxes straight or, but, of course, I don't put full boxes, as you will see, across all the way through the top. So, it all works out in the end. And I am really loving planning this way. So, it was really fun. And, of course, I get my undo out. <laughs> and I am really learning how to use the undo. And I'm really enjoying using that undo, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> it is some awesome stuff. And I will have it linked below if you uh, can't find it in your Michaels. I get mine off of Amazon because my Michaels is always not, <laughs> doesn't have everything everybody else has. And so I'm going to start off with a piece of the washi strip there. And then I am going to use one of the Fox and Pip little coffee cups and, and just start off with just right in the morning because that's my morning routine. And then I decided to go ahead and go down since Monday. I really didn't do a whole lot at I spent most of my morning doing my morning routine and replying to comments and just relaxing. So I put my full box down there. And then I wanted to go in and do my to-dos for the, for that day. What I actually uh, got done after I, decided, after I got finished watching my YouTube and stuff. So I got me a to-do header. And then I got me a... Uh, I had cut one of the little... Uh, flags down to a three heart checklist and I wrote I put my used one off the sample of the laundry and then I used one of the icons for uh it's like a little gift and I, I prepped some friend mail 
and then I used one of the her little icons as you will see uh, for it's a dollar sign because I had to work I worked on our budget and I'm trying to be better at but <laughs> using a budget and because uh, I know it's necessary and then I did also that day do like the meal plan for the week and I uh, decided to use one of those little uh, quarter appointment boxes and use one of the little icons with the fork and spoon on there uh, to just just write down meal plan and then also that day that evening me and Keith went to see dad at the nursing home and it, and used the little car icon that she had because uh, uh, it is a little bit of a drive but don't mind it at all I'm really enjoying my time with dad and he's doing well in the nursing home actually and then I wanted to record what happy mail I got that week that day rather I'm sorry <laughs> But no, I'm sorry. I decided to go ahead to make it easier. I got that uh, box out, that Monday through Sunday box, and I'm going to keep my dinners on. And I'm just going to go ahead, through, as you will see, as I'm decorating this week, I'm going to go ahead and just write down my meal. So when when I'm finished at the end and do my sidebar, it's already filled in. And so I am marking down that my Happy Meal that day I got was from Cricut Creates. Her YouTube channel is Cooking with Cricut, but she also has her website, uh, Cricut Creates, that she does candle uh, candles and wax melts. And oh my gosh, y'all! It uh, y'all will y'all would have seen on my Happy Mail haul how good it was. And then on Tuesday, I used one of the Fox and Pips No Talkie Before Coffee <laughs> Just, uh, for in morning routine because Tuesday, let me tell y'all. That's when my allergies really, really kicked in, and it was a bad day. It was I took Benadryl. I got that Fox and Pip. Uh, don't touch them at the snacks, but uh, she's wrapped up, and she's like, uh, that. Well, that's how I was that day. I was wrapped up and just sleepy because of the Benadryl and knocked out. Then, I, which being knocked out reminded me of the moon, so <laughs> I decided to use that moon full box. And I thought it was so cute because even the moon has eyelashes. And I had to use my undo because, uh, like I said, I'm still getting used to these inserts. And I, but I do believe I'm getting better at being able to line them up without having to use it as much. And then I decided it needed something to pop at the end. And so I decided to go ahead and giggle. We'll see that I decided to go ahead and get another glitter header. To put underneath that moon because it just it just needed something there <laughs> gotta have my bling you know i love my bling and my glitter so then i used one of the half boxes to put there and one on the sample they had the little munch munchkin there was spending all the money because it was two dollar tuesday yes i love me some two dollar tuesday and i that uh, this that week I bought from Playing with Emily and two bow babies from two dollars. She's just only two shops, so I think I did very well. And then that evening I was feeling a little better, so me and Keith decided to go ahead and go to Athens and get what groceries we needed. So, so that's what we did. And, oh, man, like I said, I, I was glad I was feeling better that evening, though. And then I wanted to record what happy mail I got in that day. I got some happy mail from Miss Amanda K. Uh, creates. I believe that's the name of, her, uh, name of her channel now, Amanda K. Creates. I will have her link below either way. And I got a beautiful thank you card and with, with little stickers all in it. It's, it's amazing you, what you would have seen it in my Happy Meal haul. Then I write down what I had for dinner that day. We, that eating was beef and broccoli. I used a recipe from Home with Tanya so, uh, YouTube channel. Oh my gosh y'all. It was so good. And then I just used a piece of the gray washi that was in the kit for to, to finish out the bottom there. And then I go on to Wednesday and I use one of the Fox and Pip little. No, I didn't. I used one of the uh, uh, coffee cups off the sampler from uh, Scribble Prints Co. Just for my morning routine. And then uh, also I, that day was another allergy day. So I get one of the flags and one of the little girl wrapped in a blanket. And 
and put the little I put the little stethoscope there because I didn't have any doctor's appointment that week. So I didn't just put allergies down there. I figured that would explain it all. <laughs> and then I was going to put the full box down. I said, no, I wanted to try something a little different. So what I ended up doing was where I cut that uh, bottom washi in half. I got one of those strips up. And I decided to use one of those to kind of just don't know, kind of fill in some space there. And it really did work. <laughs> After I got it figured out, which I'm sorry, you can't really see me cutting it because I was trying not to let it stick on the paper. But I really liked the way that it came out. And then I decided to need a little pop, a little glitter. So I put the glitter header I put a glitter header down. And then I placed my full box. And I love that full box with the little the pink and the moon with the gold with sparkle in it. And I just love the fact, I don't know why, but I love the fact that she had eyelashes on the moons. I just thought that was such a neat technique. Whoever designed these papers did an awesome job. And then that day I did I did receive quite a bit of happy mail. And you will see that I first of all I had used a, a a pink box, but you will see I go back and I decide to change it. Now, I did have like a four. Uh, I needed a four check uh, checklist, so I did put the pink there, and I decided Oop, that's just too much pink. Something needs it needed to pop, so I used the undo and I pulled that up. And after I pulled that up, that's when I decided to change out the pink for the for the green. And then put the pink uh, for uh, for heart checklist down. And I put down what all uh, happy mail I got, which was from uh, uh, and you will see that I got interrupted here, y'all. <laughs> my daughter, my grandchildren called. So a uh, happy mail that day was from Peekaboo Planning, Sweet Box Papery, Sweet Pink Elephant, and Hope Pink Fluff. And then. I went ahead up to the Thursday and did my morning routine. I used another one of the Fox and Pip cups. And then I marked down that uh, Tay Tay got her heartworm medication that day. And then I went back because I remembered on Wednesday that night, I watched Pretty Little Liars. I had recorded it from Tuesday night. And so then I go back to Thursday and you will see that I am going to pull a big, uh, one of my full boxes. And I loved I love this little rabbit. She looks like she was still half asleep. Thirsty, I was feeling better from the allergies, but I still wasn't totally awake. But I had to use my undo to get it straight. And I'm telling y'all, I am loving this. That stuff is amazing. And so I get get it back down. And then I decided to use my little fox and put, uh, put a bow on it. I wanted to put a little pink bow there. I just thought it was added something. And then I used one of the the uh, I was gl the glitter flags, and then I got one of the Fox and Pip girls with the to do list on it, and when they had layered it off of this, off of the sticker to make sure I was able to layer it good, and then I just put what I did that day, which was laundry cleaning the uh, laundry and also cleaning the kitchen, and then I decided I, it needed another little glitter header, so I put I put a glitter header up there for it. And then I put down what happy mail. I'm going to put down what happy mail I got uh, Thursday. <laughs> everything seems, it's either feast or famine. Everything seems to come at the same time or you don't get anything at all. So, <laughs> but, and, uh, so I, uh, I settled for a gray uh, happy mail box. and was a gray four, uh, four heart list. And I just write in happy mail like I did on Wednesday. And that day I got in from Exo Mama Plans, Philo Facts, and y'all said you would have seen all this on my uh, haul that I released uh, yesterday, Tuesday, and Little Miss Papery, and I got a beautiful little card and some stickers from Audra with my friends Audra, and then I finished off that day with just a piece of the gray washi. I figured it, it kind of worked for that day, and then we are. Uh, going to write in my dinners for Thursday, which was just eggs and bacon. And Wednesdays, you would see what was leftovers. I think y'all already said that. I'm not sure if I had left that out or not. And then, so we go on to Friday, and then I do the same thing. I lay my uh, 
flag down and then I put that little sticker no coffee before coffee I'll layer it on top of the other so I don't have to worry about having to pull it up with undo and my morning routine with a little heart I just wrote morning with a little heart that's what I'm gonna think I'm gonna start I kind of like the way that looks and then I am going to put a half box there because I needed I wanted to put down Manny Petty and I know that's what I end up doing but uh, I got I got that's where I pulled out the caress press uh, sticker sheet with the little uh, fingernail polish bottles but I kept getting this box crooked y'all the struggle was real with this with this half box I'm telling you <laughs> you will see here I don't know how many times I end up pulling it up before I finally got it situated straight it kept going on the same way <laughs> and the, as you see the perfectionist in me always comes out but I do eventually finally get it down <laughs> and then I use the paint uh, fingernail polish bottle to write there and write down I got a mani pedi that day actually I got the manicure that morning in Chandler before I seen that and I didn't get the pedi until I uh, in Athens to lay that evening, but I just went ahead and put it all there. And then I went ahead and put a glitter header down underneath the Manny Patty. And then I, you're going to see I use a quarter appointment box. And I use one of the little icons that has like a little fry and a drink uh, on it. Because that, that was kind of perfect. Because that's kind of, we had a drink, we had fries, and we had a grilled cheese uh, some kind of grilled cheese and bacon sandwich for the Father's Day brunch or lunch that they served there at the nursing home for that day that I had signed up for. We really, it was a really good lunch. We, I really enjoyed it. And then I was going to put the full box down, but it, I, it, to me it just needed some little something. So I got a little piece of the washi, the decorative washi to put underneath that. And then I put my full box down with the balloons. And since I celebrated that day with Dad, had the Father's Day lunch, thought that would go good. And then I decided to pull one uh, off of the glitter extra page. I pull a glitter uh, quarter box. And that uh, I did vlog that day. It was the first day I vlogged all week because it being sick. So I vlogged my Saturday snaps. And I also filmed my Plan With Me design group video because I knew I was going to be busy, busy that weekend. And then I go ahead and uh, use a piece of that uh I was going to use a piece of that washer. Then I said, no, I'm going to go ahead and use a piece of that bottom washer that I cut again. And that way it just saved my little strips of washi. And so I really liked using that. So I, I really liked the fact that I did have to cut that in half. So I thought that was pretty amazing. And then we're going to go on to Saturday. And Saturday I wanted to kind of dress up the coffee a little bit. Because Saturday was the day me and Keith actually celebrated our anniversary. So you will see me kind of fiddling with it to kind of layer it. But I just wanted the coffee cup to be a little fancy. Because then I wrote down the whole morning routine with a heart underneath it for that day. And then you will see that I pull. Uh, I am going to pull out a glitter flag. Because I am going to put that uh, there for just to... Because I, I knew my our Tyler anniversary trip needed some bling. So I put a gold uh, glitter flag down. And I just write down Tyler 36th anniversary. And so we did have, we had a very good day that day. So I, it was a great time. We didn't do a whole lot, but it was just fun. And so I decided I couldn't make, I wanted my full box to go a little bit further down. So I decided just to get some of the washi on and just do some, uh, put some uh, you'll see I end up using like two or three little pieces of washi before I put down my full box I was I was trying to go through and just kind of figure out what I wanted I was going to put that little girl on the gold flag but I said well no it's really kind of like an anniversary thing and I didn't have a little girl and boy so I decided to leave it and I'd come back to it later so you'll see that I grabbed the, a piece of that the pink washi and then I end up putting down some of the gold washi. And then I still, that still wasn't enough. So I decided to get a piece of that black other washi since it was going to match the full box that I was going to use. And I figured I could put some decor on it later on. And you'll see that's what I ended up doing. So I get the full box down there. Of course, not without a struggle. <laughs> so I pull out the undo again. 
And I promise y'all, I am actually getting better. I'm just having to learn. I'm not, I am not used to having the Erin Condren box because these this these inserts are exact size of the plant Erin uh, Erin uh, Con, Condren, and I'm I'm loving it, but I'm not used to to be, being that 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 for perfect size. But I really do, am enjoying them. And then I, you'll see that I put down a piece of washi so that a rounded cor uh, half box will go down there. And I pull out, I end up pulling out a cor another caress press, like a little sampler sheet. And I use some little flowers to decorate that little uh, half box with. And I just put down where all we went that day. We went to Wasabi first and we ate some sushi. And then we went to Marshall's just to look around. And I picked up a few things y'all would have seen on my Monday haul. And then we went to Hobby Lobby. And y'all seen what Keith got me there. I was so happy to get that. Oh, that we are member keepers bag. Uh, uh, storage bag that rolls. And we ate that evening after the movies at Long John Silver's. Because it was right there at the movie theater. And neither one of us wanted a real big meal anyway. So then I find the... Uh, the movie marquee and I decided to kind of put it up there in the full box because we went and seen the movie Megan Le uh, Leary or Levy and oh my gosh that was a very good movie if y'all haven't seen it it is worth going to see and I just put that little munchkin that was off that sampler with the shopping thing on there because we did we walked around looked went to shop and bought some things and then we got home that night we just had a nightcap and uh and relaxed and and it was just a wonderful anniversary celebration day. It really was. And then you'll see that I follow up at the end down there with just a piece of that uh, teal or green looking washi. And then we're going to go on to Sunday. Sunday, uh, it was, well, I was going to go to Sunday, but then I go ahead, I forgot that I didn't write down uh, my meal. So for Thursday we had tostadas, Saturday, uh, I mean Friday we had tostadas, and then Saturday we had Long John Silvers, and then Sunday I went ahead and just finished that. We had BLTs from Sonic at the nursing home with Dad, which you will see here in a minute when I decorate it. So I'm just kind of going through all my Fox and Pip stickers, and then I settle on the no, no talkie before coffee. <laughs> I love that sticker. I love Fox and Pip stickers. Their stickers are hand drawn and they're amazing. And then I decided to go ahead and just go with a piece of uh, of uh, the gold washi. And then I'll go with the full box. One of my favorite full boxes of this kit is. It? And and I'm not even crazy about cats. Anybody that knows me knows I am scared of cats. I don't mind pictures of cats. So like like these kind of cats so I uh, used to it and then I went ahead and put another piece of gold washi underneath and I was just going with the gold for Sunday Sunday was Father's Day and it was just a fun day so I was going to use a flag and I was like eh, I don't know I, something I just and it's like I don't know so you will see that I'm going to end up pulling this flag up and then I'm going to go with a quarter glitter box and then I'm going to pull out my Simply Watercolor Co. little icons and I use a little fork and spoon to mark down that Lynn and Jennifer and Little Man came and we had a pizza lunch that day. They brought some pizza from Little Caesars and so that's what we had for our lunch. And then I went back and put some uh, off that sampler some of the dollar signs because uh, Friday was payday. And then I went ahead and put down the sticker uh, plan next week. And I probably should have put that on a different day, but I went ahead and just put it then because usually, but I know that's the day though my plan with me design video goes up. So that's kind of like the reason I, I decided to go ahead and put it there. And then I just put that little heart, uh, little down there to put a picnic at the nursing home with dad. And it was really fun. And then after we, uh, then I went ahead, I found the balloons on the other little sampler from special, uh, from Scribble Prince Co. So I went ahead and put that up there on that uh, glitter sticker up there from Marcus when we went to Tyler for our anniversary. And then I'm looking for some kind of grocery icon, and I couldn't really find one. So I wanted to use that flag that I had already pulled up. So I put it. So I ended up deciding on this little munchkin with the, on another sampler that I found. 
with the little green bags. Because we, after we left Dad's in Chandler, we went to Athens and got groceries at Walmart. And then I finished that day off with a glitter header. And then I decided to put the weekend sticker on. Which you will see, I ended up the best way that I have found, easiest way, is to turn your page up to put your weekend sticker where you want it. And that's what I'm just going to start doing from now on because it's just so much easier. So that's how it looked, y'all. It turned out really good. Now I'm folding the sheet down. I'm going to do my sidebar. And I just, I just love these inserts. I just really do love them. So I'm going to use the uh, quote box, which is, You are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. I thought, I just, reason I use this kit, since this is the week that we actually celebrated our anniversary. I thought it just fit good. And plus it fit good for Dad, because Dad is my sun, moon, and stars too. So, and I outlined it with the glitter headers and, then I, one of the uh, little headers that she had, one was for dinners. And since I already have my box filled out, it just went right there with it. Of course, you know, I'm going to have to use my undo to get it straightened up. <laughs> and the good thing, as you see here, the undo does not make my, it did not make my ink smear. So I was so happy about that. And it didn't mess with the stickers on the other side either. So... And I think it takes me a couple of tries before I finally get it on straight. I finally just, I've kind of learned instead of trying to butt it up against the header, it's easier just to leave a little bit of white space. It's easier to get it to look straight, get looking straight. So as you will see, I guess it took three times to finally get it down, if not four. <laughs> I think it took three. And then I go ahead and go use some of the washi. Uh, that that I had left underneath there, and then I use that. Then I use a gold header, <laughs> and you will see I also uh, was going, and I use a. Uh, I believe I use this week. Yeah, I use a this week header, and I was going to use another one to write gratitude, and I think I did, but you will see the box won't fit on the uh, will not fit on the. Uh, my whole sidebar. I went ahead and wrote down off of my other planner what my gratefuls were for that week, which was friends, health, in income, allergies better, Manny and Patty, husband and dad. So you will see I wrote all those down to get, uh, so I could go ahead and get, the, I just like kind of sometimes writing before I put it on the pages. And here you will see where I was talking about. I put this pink little heart list, and I was going to write, I wrote in gratefuls. But you, you'll see the box wouldn't fit, so I just, instead of removing it, I just went ahead and moved the box up over the gratefuls. Because I, I didn't have enough room. So, and, and then that worked out perfect. It was a perfect, it worked perfect size. Okay, so y'all, so that is how I, I finally finished it up, and I was so happy, and then I went back, and now I'm going to put some, I'm going to go around, and we're going to put the decor on it. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. So as you see, I, I, and I love Scribble Prince Company's uh, deco. They have some bigger pieces and some little pieces, and I just loved her deco and I love that little cat that was on a swing and I put it over there on that full box and then I noticed it was kind of close to the other cat but oh well and then I put the other little but there's like a, it was a cat or it was a bunny rabbit I think on the other one and I put that on that pink full box and the little clouds and and then the little stars I start putting the little stars everywhere around the top and, and I got that idea from Amanda the owner of Scribble Prince Co I liked how she does her she puts those little little pieces of deco around the, her dates and, and stuff like that. And since I don't use date cover-ups on these kits, uh, me getting her mini kit works out perfect because I love the, I love just seeing those handwritings on her on the day. So I don't like covering them up on, when I'm using this planner. So as you will see, I'm just, I just go through and I put all the little stars all up there and then I use the little clouds here and there. And then I put, uh, I decided to use a couple of balloons to put there by my little cat and then a balloon by there for Father's Day. And so that was all the decor, y'all. So, I mean, I love the way this turned out. I loved it. 
Now I've got it back in my book and I'm showing you I used the green and lime love uh, paper clip. I used a two little bowl baby bowl and just showing you what I have left from the kit. I loved this kit. I love her stickers. And I used Simply Watercolor Co., Caress Press, and Fox and & Pip was the additional uh, sticker brands that I used, y'all. And, oh, I just, and there's how, I just wanted you to see the whole layout again. I loved this kit, the layout, and I hope y'all enjoyed this. I love you guys. Bye! Mm -hmm.